Jalan. Welcome to the 200. Yo, 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 Michael T. Porter here. Welcome to Rooted in Music TV, where everything that we talk about, everything that we discuss is rooted in music. I got another bomb episode for y'all. But before I begin, y'all hit that like button, the subscribe button, that share button, hit that notification bell so you know when I am dropping. Also, if you would like to support your independent artists, cash app dollar sign Michael U.S. Let's get into it. Let's get into it. Biggie Smalls uh, is being called out years after his passing that uh, he may be bisexual. Now, this ain't uh, an attack. Once again, YouTube, this not an attack on bisexual, but there's a lot of speculations, especially I did a story about that tranny that was in his Big Papa video. And now Lord Jamar got on Biggie's ass, the late great Biggie's ass, about his questionable lyrics. Can we get some jump roll and jump to the thing? Oh, yeah. This is according to Hip Hop DX. Lord Jamar right here. For those who don't know, Biggie Smalls, Lord Jamar. Let's see. Lord Jamar angers Biggie fans by claiming he has the most gay rap lyrics. Article written by Sam Moore. Lord Jamar is no stranger to controversial remarks, but he's now angered fans of the late Notorious B.I.G. by claiming he has some of the gayest lyrics in all of hip hop. Hmm. The brand newbie rapper made the inflammatory remarks in an interview with the Art of Dialogue saying Biggie has some of the most out of pocket lyrics of any rapper ever. And hopefully there will never be a rapper with worse lyrics. There's so much shit that Biggie said. This is Lord Jamar talk. Lord Jamar talk. Look, I can't even say it. This is Lord Jamar talking. There's so much shit that Biggie said that people just overlooked at the time. And now when we fast forward to where we're at and we hear about all the shit with Puff, now certain things are not aging. He added, <clears throat> it was bad back then, but it's really not aging well now. It's aging even worse. I don't even want to repeat some of the lines. But they are bad. Very gay lines. Jamar then paraphrased lyrics from Biggie's Ready to Die Cut Me and My Bitch. I don't care how a good woman looks. I would give fellatio to her father because she's so beautiful. Yeah, that was from a Richard Pryor line who also was a bisexual. Now, Lord Jamar said also, <laughs> as it Biggie is confirmed as being bi, yeah, that was from a Richard Pryor line who also was a bisexual. I didn't find that out until later, but so what? I don't care if Richard Pryor said first, you don't have to use that line. The actual line from the track goes, you look so good, huh? I'll S on your daddy's D. This is Biggie's lyrics, y'all. You look so good, I'll S on your daddy's D. Jamar didn't highlight a line from Just Playing Dreams. I'll F RuPaul before I F them ugly ass escape bees. And what's B? Don't they know my nigga, my nigga gutter effing kidnap kids? F them in the what? Throw them over the bridge. And this ain't the first time uh, Biggie has said some wild stuff like this. He also claimed that a transgender actress, that's when I was talking about y'all, appeared in a video for Big Papa in Warning, as well as Craig Max Flavor in Your Ear remix. Hmm. Lord Jamar immediately faced criticism from Biggie fans with one hidden back on X, formerly Twitter. Biggie slander never tolerated. Another defendant the late MC's rhymes by saying, nah, don't connect it to Pub. Biggie was intentionally being provocative because he could. His wordplay was out of this world, and sometimes he had to dabble in darkness for emphasis. So, oh, I was just about to play that. A third user accused Jamar of taking the lyrics out of context, right? And meanwhile, on Dead Wrong, Biggie explicitly says, 
I stabbed her brother with the ice pick because he wanted me to F him from the back. But Smalls don't get down like that. Who's he talking about? Who is he talking about? Who is he? Who wanted Biggie? Who wanted Biggie's big ass to get behind him? Over the years, Lord Jamar has stirred controversy for his remarks about Eminem, Lil Yachty, and female rappers, as well as comments that were widely seen as homophobic. Uh, the New York natives has also been accused of Holocaust denial after saying in 2020, check out the records. There wasn't even 6 million Jews in Europe at the time. There was about 500,000 over there and in Germany and Europe. There was no six million. So what are we talking about? Stop it. This man just denied the Holocaust. <clears throat> and there's one more lyric I want to show y'all. So we're going to highlight. Would y'all like my? Hold on. Would y'all like my opinion? Would y'all like some of this rooted in music TV commentary? Well, of course you do. That's why your ass is here. I have to throw that in. Look at this mess here. This from that dead wrong, and I thought they're gonna play this part. He's talking about effing children in that other song. He's talking about his homeboy let the f children and throw them over the bridge, and then he said he stabbed somebody because they wanted notorious Big's fat ass to go up his butt. Whoever he was talking to, some mystery man, wanted Biggie Smalls to go up his butt, so he stabbed him with an ice pick. Look at the lyrics. I stabbed her brother. So some some dude he was some girl he was talking to her brother was into that type of stuff because he wanted me to f him from the back but Smalls will get down like that. Look at this lyric, y'all. Just for you Biggie fans out there, Tupac has never said no stuff. I'm, I'm a West Coast nigga, but I love New York. I love the East Coast. I love the South too and Midwest. But some of these lyrics and Eminem, I get on Eminem, Eminem ass too. He a weirdo too at times. Found your father hiding in a room. F them with the broom. So he took a broom and he's putting up another man's behind. Slid him down the back and threw salt on the wound. Now I think he's talking about R word in somebody. Hardcore, I got it sucked like a pee. Stab you to your gushy, so please don't push me. I'm using rubbers so they won't trace the semen. Well, only um, rapists would do something like this. The black demon got the little hooker screaming because you know I like it love because you know I love it young, fresh and green with no hair in between. So he's talking about all wording a young girl and he's wearing a condom. This is for you Biggie fans. He's wearing a condom so the police won't trace his semen. And if you don't believe me, this is why I say Eminem was a weirdo too. There's several different levels to devil worshiping. This is what this whole song's about. Horses head, human sacrifices, cannibalism, candles and exorcisms, animals having S with them, camels, mammals, and rabbits, but I don't get into that. I kick the habit. So Eminem just said he kicks the habit of making love to mammals and rabbits and cannibalism and candles and exorcism. This is what Eminem is all about. This this for all you Eminem fans, this is the pinnacle of Eminem's role in the music industry. He's a devil worshiper, right? Horses, heads, human sacrifices, cannibalism, candles and exorcisms, animals having sex with them, camels, mammals, and he even got explicit and specific about which animals he's uh, having sex with. And then he tried to play it out, talking about he kicks the habit. These two, these this is probably one of the worst lyrics, because I remember the beat go hard, but... um. When you really look at what's going on, this is crazy. Talking about cannibalism once again, I never eat you unless the effing meat look fresh. Now, I don't know if he's talking about lyric lyrically. I got a line in my pocket, I'm lying. I got a nine in my pocket, and baby, I'm just dying to cock it. He's ready for war, I'm ready for war. I got machetes and swords for any F that said they was raw. So at first, so... That's what I'm saying. They're mixing this demonic stuff. He's talking about cannibalism and devil worshiping and uh, satanic occults. And he's talking about he's a black demon. R word in a young girl, because usually young girls don't have any hair yet. So he's talking about a very young girl. And he says he's using rubber so he won't trace the semen. And then he's talking about 
I'll even F RuPaul before I F them ugly, uh, ugly ass escape. Escape for those of you don't that don't know, that's an R and B group. Uh, it's a female R and B group, and he said they are so ugly. He'll F a man before he F one of them. And then he said his homie gutter kidnapped kids, F them in the. And why would Biggie hang around somebody like that? Come on, New York. What's had in New York? What's had y'all, y'all? Hey, New York been taking L after L. I mean, what's going on, New York? The mecca of hip hop. From Bam Bada to Puffy. Now Biggie up in there. What's going on, New York? But y'all flood my comments. Did Lord Jamar hit it right on the head or is he far off? 250 capital G. Rooted in music TV. I'm gone.